time to leave the fairways and we are in an e-trike, heavily loaded e-trike, heading into station one. This is an e-trike, which as you can see there are many in Borakai. On our way to station one. Timo straight ahead there, we are turning left. This is that body of water opposite the Timo. And here we are, we have arrived. Red doors. The area in front there is where we will have breakfast. And here's the reception area. Secret garden. Hi, sir. Hi. Okay. Hi. This is the reception area. Our room is down this laneway, not by the staircase. Quiet, Almira said, but then I heard a rooster. But that will remind her of her home on the farm in the province. None of the taxi drivers knew where this place was. The e trike riders, that is. Oh, there's the rooster. So it's appropriately named the Secret Garden. Red Doors, the Secret Garden. It's definitely very quiet back here. And it's a short walk from Emo. There's our rusty security system. I wonder if it works. Yeah, so we're actually waiting for our room to be ready. They would have given us the room on the ground floor, but we prefer the room on the second floor, so we will wait a few minutes for that as we did arrive early. Taxi driver scammed us in a very minor way, charged 200 pesos for a ride that should really be 150 pesos. But in his defense, I was stupid and I did not agree the fare in advance. I was pretty confident that the standard fare was 150 pesos. So, my bad, as they say, I paid him the 200 pesos. Elmira, I have an idea while we're waiting. Can you climb this coconut tree? Can you get me coconut? Sure. Yes, forgiveness. In other words, never ask permission to do anything. Just do it. And then if you get caught, you ask for forgiveness. Are you with me? So you don't need to ask permission to climb that tree. You just climb it. And then if you're found guilty of some crime, you simply ask for forgiveness. Baby, do you like to be in charge? Yes, always. You're Follow in charge me. of this relationship, right? Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Follow you. Okay. Yes, madam. <laughs> You're excited about your first breakfast here? Yes. Let's see. Do you know what we're going to have for breakfast? Oh, we help ourselves to coffee, okay, cool. Do you know what we're gonna have for breakfast? Hmm? Rooster. Hi, Kapoya. Hey, lady, will hear the roosters? <laughs> here are the coffee options here. Something called coffee cup, which I guess is a instant coffee of some kind. There's also Milo, which is a popular chocolate drink here. We put that in and then we take this boiling water from this flask. Stir. And we have coffee. Coffee, and in the meantime, breakfast has been served. Thank you. Almira's gone for rice, of course, because she's Filipino. I've gone for the bread. So breakfast is included here, so it may not be the most exciting breakfast, but it's not bad. We have bread, egg, butter, marmalade, and this is, what do you call it? Carne Norte. Carne Norte. Carne sounds like meat. And norte, dark? Not sure. Anyway. And there's the little gazebo where we just spent some time waiting for the room to be ready as we had arrived a little early. Coconut tree. Stairs up to the room as we requested to be on the second floor. And we are in the room on the end here. It's called the Lily Room. So we walk in the door. Immediately we have a bathroom to the right here. So 
compact functional bathroom with shower, usual hot water. And we're back into the main area of the room. Now it's a small room, but it has everything you need. It's got one double bed. It's got a resident Filipina by the name of Elmira. Hey Elmira. Hello. And here we have some storage, TV, there's a fan, and a window air conditioner in the corner there. And there is actually a door out to the balcony. Interestingly, the windows are not clear, but that's okay. We can open this, and we have a door out to a little balcony here, which looks out onto some greenery. The beach would be in the distance there, as the crow flies probably about oh, two, three hundred meters. And that is the coconut tree that we were looking at earlier, which maybe I'm able to climb someday soon. What do you say? You're going to climb that coconut tree anymore? Yes. Yes, she says she will. Who's yours truly? So yes, there is a mirror. And that's about it. It's a very short tour. For obvious reasons. I'll post the cost of this room. We booked it on a Goda. It was actually very good value, that's why I went for it. So it's not certainly far, well rather it is certainly far from being luxurious, but it is very, shall we say, comfortable and adequate. And I figured it gives us some money to play with toys on the beach, like parasailing and jet skiing perhaps, as we have gone for this very budget accommodation which is a short walk from the beach, but it's not on the beach. And it would be remiss of me not to at least point out these towel sculptures here. Two of them on the bed. Well, this is kind of cute. For a budget hotel, you got these two little care packages. And what's inside? This one has two toothbrushes and a little mini toothpaste. What else do we have? A combined shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Three in one, very efficient. And is there something else in there? I think there's something else. Oh yeah, some cotton buds. And that's it, what a package. Baby, what are you doing to the poor swan? They're removing. Oh no. One swan remaining. I have to put them back together. This. Yes. He's like Humpty Dumpty. And I'll put them back together. Not bad. Close. Was the original. It was on the earth attempt. Pretty good. Actually, you pretty much hit the nail on the head, didn't you? That's the alleyway to our Red Doors Secret Garden Hotel, and on the corner here we have a place called Two Brown Boys. Oh, 